if you don't have an exit plan for that relationship, you might just go back. If you don't have a plan for an exit plan for for leaving that relationship, you might just go back. Ask me how I know. Because I did it several times. Listen, an exit plan is so needed. So many times, women, I'm talking to women this morning, right? We go back. Why do we keep going back? We And we know what's back there, but we still go back. Why? We haven't developed an exit plan. You have to have an exit plan for your for your physical. Physically, you got to have an exit plan. Mentally, you got to have an exit plan. Emotionally, you have to have an exit plan. Because sometimes we leave, but we don't fully leave. We leave, but the door is still, our foot is still in the door. Their foot is still in the door. We keep going back. Why is that? Because we haven't developed an exit plan. You must develop an exit plan. Because if not, you're gonna. Re- chances are you're gonna return back. <laughs> I'm telling you, it will happen. An exit plan in a relationship refers to a strategy or a set of steps that an individual may take to end a romantic relationship, friendship, or other personal connections in a thoughtful, healthy, and intentional manner. The purpose of an exit plan in a relationship is to minimize the harm ensure safety and facilitate a smoother transition for all parties involved. The key elements to it of an exit plan in relationships might include self-reflection. Before making any decision, it's important to reflect on the reason for ending the relationship, ensuring that the decision is well considered and not made impulsively. Okay, so that's self-reflection. Then you got to have safety considerations. This is important too. If the relationship is abusive or harmful, the exit plan may involve ensuring personal safety, such as arranging um, for a safe a safe place to stay, having a support network in place, and possibly seeking legal protection. Okay, so we got to be careful as well. Timing. Deciding the best time <clears throat> to have the conversation or make the break, considering, your, considering both your emotional state and the other person's readiness to hear the news. Number four, communication. Planning how to communicate your decisions to the other person in a way that is clear, respectful, and compassionate. This includes preparing for potential reactions and being ready to listen to listen as well as speak. Logistics. If living together or sharing assets, the exit plan should cover the practical details like moving out, dividing belongings, and handling joint, joint financial responsibilities. Support system. Ensuring your emotional support from friends, family, or therapists during the process as as ending a relationship can be emotionally challenging. And number seven, legal considerations. If married or in legal recognized partnership, the exit plan may involve um, legal steps like filing for divorce, addressing child custody, or managed share assets. Aftercare. Planning for the aftermath, including managing emotions, setting boundaries for the future interactions, and taking care of your well-being. That part right there. Let me say this part right here again, because sometimes this is where it get a little gray. Setting boundaries for future interactions and taking care of your well-being. Setting boundaries and setting boundaries for future interactions and taking care of your well-being. A lot of times, if you don't have a boundary, say when that person come to when that person comes to get the child, they should not be in your house, in your kitchen, in your nowhere. Come pick up your child and go, right? They should be in your bedroom. They they just it, it, you you have to have these boundaries because if not, it gets gray, and in and, and in the gray, anything can happen in the gray, and you probably already know because it's already happening. Because when I'm talking to you, I'm talking to me. Right, there were times when it was all gray, it was all gray. I was gone, but I didn't leave, I kept going back emotionally and physically and mentally. I was still attached to that person, to the the just the the routine of 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 being in that relationship, right? And I would just want to talk to them like they're my best friend about other people, right? And it just it just didn't work, <laughs> it just doesn't work. So this is important. It is important to have an exit plan in relationships. It's about it's about making a difficult transition as respectful and manageable as possible, prioritizing the well-being of all involved. That's that's the key word, okay? 
prioritizing the well-being, the well-being of everybody involved. Because if you don't have, if you don't have a plan, if you don't have, sometimes you don't have, some, sometimes you don't have time to plan. Like sometimes you just got to go. You just got to take some stuff and just get out there, right? I, it, it, everybody's case is going to be different. Okay. So you got to do what's best for you. Those strategies uh, will definitely, you know, le- at least give you a blueprint of where to start, right? Because you must be clear about why you're leaving because if not, you'll go back. You must be clear about why you're leaving because if not, you'll go back. There was a time when I was clear about why I was leaving, but I, I wasn't clear. I'm going to say, let me say that, let me say that better. I wasn't clear about why I was leaving. So I would, cont- I would continually go back. I would continually, you know, have relations with this person. Wondering why they were so just obsessive. There was a soul tie there and it was, it took time for me to just stop that stuff. Right, so you have to have a plan because if not, you'll keep going back. You keep finding yourself in the middle of that bed, wondering why you can't. They won't let you go, and you can't let them go. First, you gotta close your legs. You gotta get out the bed. You got to have a plan emotionally, physically, and mentally. Because if not, you keep talking to that person. They keep getting in your head, and they look at here, and then it becomes a routine. They know they can. They know, and they don't care if you're in a relationship. They still gonna say these things, and you might still. Well, this is I know this person, and I'm comfortable with this person. You keep sliding back and sliding back and sliding back. You can't slide back no more. Then it gets really complicated. Then it gets really ugly. Then then things start to happen to other people that that do not that were not a part of that. It can happen. We see it happen all the time. Somebody moved on, but really didn't move on, and and the ex boyfriend killed the new boyfriend, or whatever the case may be. We see this stuff happen all the time. That's why you gotta have a plan. You gotta fully leave okay and um what else you must look at you must look at the hard facts do you have what it takes to maintain yourself because some people can't afford to leave i'll be honest with you some people can't afford to leave this person is taking care of the home they're they are, they are the provider and so they're fully dependent on that person you know how that's hard right so now the plan is they gotta get a David. They gotta be able to get get a, a job so they can save their money, so they can start develop. That's that's part of the plan. Do you have what it takes to maintain yourself? Can you afford to take care of yourself? You must be clear about that. We must you we must be able to you must be able to stand on your on your feet. You must be able to stand on your feet. I'm telling you, it's a must. I have I have seen in so many situations where. Um, the, the woman is put out and she had nowhere to go. No, she had no money. She had nowhere to go. She had financially, she could not stand on her own. She had to go stay with family and friends, right? So we want to make sure that we have an exit plan because you never know. You never know what could happen, right? So you always want to have, you know, some, some, some coins saved up just in case something happens. If something happens to someone, now what can you take care of yourself? Because there's, there's so many variables to this exit plan. There's so many variables. You got to have an exit plan when you're leaving, when you're leaving a job, right? Or sometimes if you get fired, you ain't got time to get an exit plan because you're gone. So now, what does that look like? So it's so many things that you have to do. Um, you have to have a strategy to set up. You have to set up a strategy um, when it comes to the exit plan. Because, man, listen, you just, you have to have a strategy. Because if not, you go back. There's so many women who are constantly going back. And it's because they didn't develop an exit plan. Mentally, physically, or emotionally. Or maybe physically. Or maybe they, they, they have separated homes. But mentally and mentally they're mentally and emotionally, they're still attached to that person. That person can say certain things and push those buttons. Listen, you have to develop a plan. I had to, I had to become a whole nother person. I had to, okay, so what do I like? What do I love? What 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 does Jennifer like? What do I like to do? Who who do I who who am I becoming outside of this person? Because sometimes we're so attached to people. We don't know who we are outside of, outside of the relationship, outside of the marriage, outside of the friendship. We don't know who we are because we, we have attached our identity to that person. So moral of the story, you must have an exit plan. Because if not, you keep going back. You will keep going back. Okay? That's all I got. I wanted to share this because it was on my heart. Ever since I listened to this podcast, then it was everything. So that's all I got, y'all. Peace. Get your exit plan together. <laughs>